Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna farm a bit the Endless Cloister. As you can see I have a ton of keys, I saved a lot and I still haven't claimed that chest. But before we jump into that, I decided to buy my first chest in the black market to see what can I get inside, if it is worth it or not. Before we find out, let me talk about Aptoid quickly. If you are planning to spend in a game, make sure that you are using Aptoid. This is the equivalent of the Play Store and the App Store, but they have less fees and they are giving to you some cash back on every purchase you make in game. For example, if you are using Aptoid, you are going to save up to 16% of your money. In fact, you are going to spend less to obtain more items thanks to the cash back. And if you are using my promo code actor, I am or 5 as written on the screen between April 1st and April 12th, you are going to have a 5% extra cashback as well. You can install Aptoid through the link I have in the description of my video. And if you want to know how to install and use Aptoid, you have a video in the description below as well, that one with that cover. And during the week, for example, let's say if you want to buy one of these chests with a big blessing inside of it, the speed one for example. You can go with Aptoid in the shop, so you buy that pack for 93 euros, you get your 20 euros in cashback, and then you want to buy another pack for free, and there we go, you can use your credits, your cashback, to buy it directly for free. So make sure that if you want to spend in a game, you are using both Aptoid and my promo code during that period from April 1st to April 12th. This is also a way to support my channel, so thank you to everyone that is using my promo code. So, I'm gonna open the chest, and I'm gonna pick a speed blessing. There we go, yes, I want to continue. And I have plus 46 speed, which is huge for 3000 red diamonds. And this is the first speed blessing I am buying and I'm gonna equip that on my popper instead of the effect hit. And if we check in the auction house, the price for one of these is way higher. This is better to buy some in the market. Players are asking too much for these. Okay, so let's go in the cloister and let's try to defeat some bosses to obtain some blessings. Really easy, as always, I'm gonna use that team. I'm gonna do some multi battles one by one on the boss I can defeat only and refresh until I used all my keys. Okay, so this is the first legendary I have. That's a Provoke hit, 12%. I'm not using any unit with a Provoke. I'm making a pose now because that one is pretty interesting, okay? That's only an epic one but with the A rank and it's giving to me 10% crit damage. So I'm taking that, this is a good one in my opinion. And the first mythic is a horrify hit plus 18%. This is a B rank. I'm not using any unit with a horrify nader. It could have been a speed one, right? Uh, but it's never the case on my account, sadly. So let's continue. Another legendary and that's a D bleeding damage bonus 2% only. Really, really, really useless and bad. After 30 keys. Let's go another legendary and that's a C, mastery 5.5%. So that's not that great. After 50 keys. Another legendary C tier healing effect 5% only, that one sucks as well. Another legendary C 
almost back to back confused resistance nobody is using confusion so another useless one and after 80 keys so 30 minutes so far to get only that so let's continue Okay, maybe an interesting one. Legendary rank B and that's an HP rate. 13%. This is not the best, but still I'm taking that. <laughs> At least I'm gonna have something a bit useful. Another legendary rank D and suffocated heat, so I don't care. This is nobody's using that today. And only 61 keys remaining. Already the last key over the 160 I had, so I wasn't lucky to get many things during the run. Hope that for the last one I'm gonna be lucky. I don't think I will, but who knows. And... And no, that's another useless one. So now let's have a look to what I have in the chest. And that's a D1, okay. So the legendary chest, provoke C. Are you serious? So I never get anything good on in that chest, so I hope that for once, I'm gonna have something interesting. As always, as always. I don't know what you think about that content, but it's really hard and the drop rates are so low. You never get anything cool in there. Or maybe it can happen one or two times in three, four months. This is insane. I've been saving my keys for two weeks, two entire weeks. You saw what I had. I had absolutely nothing. This is so annoying. So the only way to have some blessings is, is to pay a fortune in that content or to buy some in that shop today. And this is what I don't like. And if you are lucky enough to get one, you have 44% chance to obtain a D, 30% to get a C and 20% to get a B. So you have 94% chance to have some trash. 94% over 1.8%. This is too much time consuming for the rewards we get inside, even on the last stages. So please consider upgrading the rewards we have inside. That would be good. I'm not asking to have to be guaranteed on every run to have something. But at least when we are farming the Dwarven Ruins, sometimes we get a good piece of gear. And in the Faction Abyss, we get some auras, but there we get absolutely nothing. So guys, that was all for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If it's the case, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Have a nice day and see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>